Hello, today we're going to prepare a Kushaw and then make a Kushaw casserole. And uh, whenever I think of Kushaw, I think of my granny's homemade Kushaw pie, which was so delicious. And uh, today we're going to make a casserole. First thing you want to do is clean all, clean the outside of it, any mud or dirt that's on it. And then you want to cut the ends off. And then I usually cut the neck off, and uh, that way it'd be cut off enough for it to fit in my oven. And once you cut the neck off, about halfway there, then you'll split it. You'll split the neck, and uh, once you split that, you'll see that it's all flesh, and some people, that's all they do is, is just use the neck, but I also split the face part of it. And that's where you're gonna have your seeds and your membranes, but uh, we can scrape those out. And that's fairly easy to scrape out with a spoon. And just separate it, and if you wish, you can throw it all away, or you can separate out the seeds and use them for your garden next year, or you can roast them like pumpkin seeds. Uh, I'm gonna use it for my garden next year. Uh, and after that's done, we're gonna brush the flesh side with some vegetable oil. Brush it good all the all over, even in the cavities and the ends. And and once we get that prepared, we're gonna get a couple of pans prepared. I usually cover them with foil just so it'll be easier to clean up. And uh, we'll put our cushion flesh side down onto the pans. And. Uh, have to kind of move them around where they fit on the pans and into the oven. They're, they take up quite a bit of room. I had to use both racks. And I'm, we set our oven to 350 degrees and uh, need to bake for at least an hour uh, and check it. And I ended up having to go an hour and a half to get it tender. And uh, one kind of fork tender. Like I said, I had to add a half hour to mine, so I went about an hour and a half. And while it was baking, I dried out my seeds on some paper towels. And after my hour and a half was up, then you can see it's toasty. And uh, just check it with a fork and see that it was tender. And let it cool down enough where you can handle it. And just take a spoon and scoop out the flesh and put it in a bowl. And uh, now we're ready to uh, they'll have a, quite a bit of flesh. I had enough for uh, a casserole and plus enough for five more that I put up in the freezer. So after that, I'll get ready to make my casserole. And uh, for my casserole, I'm gonna use a cup of brown sugar, uh, third cup of milk or buttermilk. I'm using buttermilk this time. Quarter cup of melted butter. Two slightly beaten eggs. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Quarter teaspoon each of allspice, cloves, and salt. And a teaspoon of vanilla. And uh, first thing we do is we mash it all up. Mash, mash the kush all up. Get it mashed up. Then we start adding our sugar. Mash that in, mix that in. Then we add our buttermilk. Mix that in real good. Then after that, we'll put in our eggs. Mix that well. And then we'll add our butter. Mix that up. Everything mixed up good. Then we'll add our vanilla and our spices seasoning and then get that all mixed in good some more we'll get out our eight eight inch square baking dish that's been sprayed with cooking spray and we'll pour our push all mixture into that and then we'll work on making our topping which consists of a quarter cup of brown sugar quarter cup of flour three tablespoons of butter, and a half a cup of chopped nuts. I'm using walnuts this time. And we'll blend our uh, 
flour and sugar and butter with a pastry knife. Get it crumbly. And after that, we'll add in our nuts and mix them in together. Mix it up good for our crumb topping. And once we get our crumb topping mixed up, we'll spread that evenly out over top of the casserole. And we'll have our oven set at 325 and put it, bake it for uh, 30 to 40 minutes to where the topping is brown and it's kind of bubbly. Casserole says it's kind of bubbly. And then we'll pull it out and we'll let it set for about 10 or 15 minutes to let the casserole uh, congeal and set. And then it's ready to dig in. And there is our, but our Kushaw squash casserole. And I hope y'all give this a try. It's really delicious. Thanks so much for stopping by. Have a good day. Thanks. Yeah.